What's the word? You already know we in that lab. Show y'all what's going on so far with the coop. It's taking a little longer, but like I say, we got to track down stuff and, you know, it's all good. We making progress, though. We looking good. And I want to run something down to y'all about cars and stuff breaking down out here. But let me show y'all this here. All right, so far, see that camera look a little cloudy. Okay, there we go. Okay, so far, we just got the new compressor in uh, last night. Got everything on. All I need to do now is go pick up this tensioner right here and make a little bracket for that alternator right there, but that ain't nothing. I just put the uh, vacuum distributor on. I think I got it on time already. I gotta do my wires, move that car all out the way. Now we waiting on the carburetor. Got the exhaust on, everything looking good on the coupe. He say one day he gonna put all chrome pullers. I know it's looking a little mismatch right now, but the main goal is to get this bad boy running. You know, we can pretty it up late on, but we trying to get it running. Make sure everything's straight. But yeah. Everything, uh, like I say, everything coming along on the old coupe pretty good, man, you know. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Now, man, another thing I want to run down to a lot of my, my slab riders out there, and really just car people, period. Uh, man, take it from a mechanic that work on cars and been working on cars uh i probably started i started buying cars at the age of 14. i was working at family dollar getting paid under the table unloading the trailer i wasn't even old enough but i had the size you know what i'm saying so i started buying cars at like the age of 14 15 i think before i even had my license so Watching my uncle, I always have been a hands-on person, like even at a young age. My mom and them bought me a remote control car or something. Man, I'm going to play with it. Then I'm going to bust it down, try to see how it works, how I can make it go faster, add extra batteries. I've been doing that way back in the 80s when I was a kid. Then it went from that. It went to bicycles. Had a yard full of bicycle parts. I used to work on everybody's bicycle put different cranks on them, put the big wheel in the front and eight handlebars and banana seat. I used to take the shocks off of the hood and mount it onto the back of the banana seat like I got hydraulics. I used to do all that. Then it went from bikes to go-karts. I put music on my go-kart at a young age. So I've been doing it. One thing I can tell y'all out here, man, I don't care how much money you put into a vehicle a vehicle can always break down. I don't understand why when when somebody car break down, they, oh, oh, man, look at your shit breaking down. Your shit raggedy. Man, listen to me. You can put all brand new shit on your vehicle right now today, and you can get on the freeway right now after you put all brand new parts and just because those parts are man-made, one of those parts can go out soon when you get on the freeway and you can be right back broke down. Like I tell people, man, when you buy a part, it is a man-made part. All they can do is give you a warranty. They can't guarantee how long that part going to last. It's a man-made part. Some of it is made by machines. You can go buy a fuel pump right now, brand new out the box. Drop your tank, put it in your car. You can drive it for two days and that fuel pump go right back out. First thing you're going to say, man, that's a brand new part. I don't give a damn. It is man-made. It's not guaranteed to last forever. That's why they give you a warranty, not a guarantee. They can't guarantee you shit. But they can give you a warranty if it do go out before it's time. Okay, we'll swap it out for you. Yeah, we, we'll give you a warranty, but we can't guarantee how long it'll last. So, 
you know, to all my people out here putting cars together, man. You see a person car break down on the side of the freeway or on the side of the street, man, that don't mean this shit raggedy. That just mean a port failed. He could have ran through the motor. He could have put brand new water hoses. One of them could have had a defect in it. Soon it build up pressure, power, it pop. First thing you're going to say, damn, I just changed all the hoses. They brand new. That don't mean nothing, man. A brand new part don't mean nothing. That just give you a peace of mind that you bought it brand new. But in actuality, man, it's a man-made part. And ain't nothing perfect. Nothing perfect. If cars didn't break down, we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. My hands wouldn't be dirty right now. I wouldn't be out there working. Cars break down. You got brand new 2024 cars right now that's broke down, have to go back to the dealership. And they not even a year old. So how you gonna laugh at a man that pull up in a 20, 30 year old car and something happened to it? Man, shit happens. Now, what you laugh at, like I told somebody else, what you laugh at, or what I would find funny, if a person put thirty, forty thousand dollars into their car and they break down and they can't even get it home, or they can't get it to a shop where it need to go get fixed. Now that's when you be like, well, goddamn, bro, your car broke down and you gotta borrow record truck money, or you ain't got AAA, or you ain't got a flatbed on deck to take your car home. Cause I'm telling you. Anytime you own any kind of vehicle, it's good to have AAA or something to get you to the house, man. Because a car can break down at any given time. I don't care how new or how old it is. You see more new cars. I work on more new cars than I do old cars. So what they tell you? But, yeah, man, I just want to run that by a lot of people out here, man. When you see people broke down, I mean, that, that don't mean... They didn't put no money into their car. They could have bought a brand new part and that part failed. It happens. Trust me. I've been messing with cars like seriously probably since I was 18, 19 years old. And I'm 44. Trust me. I done had parts brand new out the box and put them on and they defective. Got to take it right back up there. The part didn't even get to leave out the driveway and it failed. So, you know. Well, you know, don't don't bash people when you see a person car broke down. You know, it, it happens. It happens. That's why we having this conversation right now. People cars break down, and I work on them. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's just what it is, y'all. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there, man, about parts and breaking down and warranties and guarantees and all that. It, it happens, man. I ain't no use in bashing nobody about it. It happens. It can happen at any given time. You could be in the drive through You could be sitting in traffic. You could be on the boulevard. You could be showing off, swinging and banging, doing your thing, and that boy just cut off. Brand new fuel pump and went out on you. Man, all you can do is get it towed to the house. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's all, man. Y'all know me. I be rambling, man. You know what I'm saying? Stuff I see going on out here that really don't make no sense. It be really some kiddie shit to me. Who laughs at somebody who break down? I mean, it happens. It's an inconvenience. You know what I'm saying? It's an inconvenience. It's really not funny. And then don't nobody want to help no more. People don't even help. People see you broke down. Instead of instead of helping get your car out the street or something, people pull out their phones and film you and laugh at you and videotape you like they car ain't going to never break down. So, I mean, it's, it's stupid. It's real stupid. But I ain't going to keep on handling y'all. Y'all know me, man. I'll get to getting into it, you know. But I'll holler at y'all later, man. All right.